So I've been literally racking my brain all week trying to come up with a topic that I'd like to talk about with you guys, like something related to Lolita, teaching, art, modeling, what have you. And I kept coming up with these ideas, but I wasn't able to like really expand on them, and I just was having so much creative block, and it was driving me up the wall. But then I was at the Plasma Center today, because, you know, I'm an art teacher and a first year teacher, so therefore I'm poor as shit. Dude, I even got like the bloody gauze to prove it. You wanna see? No? Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. I'm really gonna try hard not to turn this into another ranting video. But anyway, I was at the Plasma Center and I met this gentleman. Um, he was in the waiting room just like I was, and we struck up a conversation because. If anyone who has gone to a plasma center may know, you wait for a really, really long time. And this gentleman asked me what I do for a living, and I said that I was an art teacher over at an alternative high school. And he kind of looked at me and he's like, oh, so you teach bad kids. Now, I cannot tell you how many times I have said that I work in an alternative high school only to get the response, oh, you work with the bad kids, don't you? So I was therefore inspired and figured out right on the spot what I want to talk about. I want to talk about what alternative high school is not. Because so many people automatically assume that an alternative high school is a dumping ground. And what a dumping ground is, is it's basically a place where all the mainstream schools send all the juvenile delinquents and the high-risk kids for dropping out so that they don't have to deal with those kids anymore. That's not what an alternative high school is. Unfortunately, there are some places that are considered alternative, that are like that. And for a while, the school I was working at was considered that. But luckily, um, we're working with an amazing new principal who wants to turn all of that around. She doesn't want our alternative high school to be considered this place where we can just send the riffraff of young society, because that's not what an alternative high school should be for. What an alternative high school is, is just that. It's an alternative route to education. Not every kid can sit through a 90 minute block class four times a day and be successful. I know I certainly couldn't. I student taught where there were, you know, 90 minute block classes and I couldn't even make it through the day without being exhausted. I can't imagine having to actually sit there and absorb information. And besides the kids who can't sit there for 90 minutes at a time and pay attention or be focused, we also have a lot of young mothers out there who need a school that also has daycare and that has a schedule that will work with them being able to get their children ready and getting themselves ready so that they can come to school more often and actually graduate with a high school diploma. And that's what makes the school I work at truly alternative. It's that we provide options for those types of high school students. We have, instead of four 90-minute block classes, we have eight 45 minute classes during the day. So they're constantly cycling and they're constantly moving through. We also have a later start time so that students who have no transportation, they don't have to worry about being late because they can always take the city bus and they can ride the city bus for free if they're a student at this school. For the young mothers, we have an attached daycare so that their kids can have someone to look after them while they focus on their studies. And then finally, when you factor in that we only have a max class size of 15 students, so these kids can get lots of one-on-one -on -one attention from the teachers, and the teachers, they instruct in their own unique ways, and they're so hands-on, and they're so close to the kids, and the kids really see them as human beings and love them and respect them. That's what sets us apart. That is what alternative high school is about. And I'm in no way saying that teachers who teach in mainstream high schools are any less of teachers than those in alternative high schools. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying that 
the methods of instruction are completely different. I think if I had taught in a mainstream high school first and then went to alternative, I would lose my mind for the first month and a half because I would have, like, I'd have to redo everything. I'd have to revamp all of my, you know, classroom management strategies because it would be nothing like working in a mainstream school. With alternative kids, you have to have different expectations. You have to have high expectations because you want them to accomplish something. You want them to push themselves and then look back on what they accomplished and just feel that pride. But you have to go about getting there in a little bit of a different way. And that different way can really be found in an alternative setting. If the alternative school is doing what it's supposed to do, of course. So when people automatically assume that I work with really bad kids, it kind of hurts on a personal level because when you work in a school that really only has 200 kids max, you know every student by name and you know pretty much their whole life stories if you have them in a couple classes. So to hear someone say and assume that my students are bad kids, like, that doesn't sit well with me because I know that although they might have gotten into trouble at their previous school, and although they might not come from the best home, and although they might have life pretty damn rough, they mean well. And I truly believe that every single one of my students is good deep down. So if you've watched this video all the way through, I hope that you can at least walk away from this with a better understanding of what an alternative education is really like. And I hope that you have less of an immediate negative reaction to students who say that they go to alternative high schools because just because they go to a high school that isn't mainstream doesn't mean they're any less of a person or any worse of a kid than those students who go to mainstream schools. If you are interested in seeing more of my video updates and listening to more of my commentaries on life, my career, my hobbies, etc., please subscribe to my channel. I try to update my video blog weekly. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you around.